We were once a peaceful race, of intelligent mechanical beings. But then came the war, between the Autobots that fought for freedom, and the Decepticons who dreamt of tyranny. Overmatched and outnumbered, our defeat was all but certain. But in the war's final days, an Autobot ship escaped the battle. It was carrying a precious cargo which would have changed our planet's fate. A desperate mission, our final hope. A hope that vanished. Optimus Prime's intro commentary. During the war fought between Autobots and Decepticons on the planet Cybertron, the Autobot ship, the Ark escaped, carrying Sentinel Prime and hundreds of pillars, which are used to open space bridges. The ship is damaged during its escape and eventually crash lands on the moon in 1969. As a result of this, Apollo 11 is sent to the moon to investigate. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin discover the wreck of the Ark and they along with everyone involved with the mission are sworn to secrecy. Sam fall in love with Carly Spencer and they move in together. He tries hard to find a new job, so Carly gives him an opportunity to work under Dylan Gould. Sam meets his co-worker, Jerry Wong, who tells him about the Decepticons' plan. Wong returns to his office, where Laserbeak throws him out the window. Sam then meets up with Seymour Simmons. They work together to try and figure out what the Decepticons' next move will be. They meet up with some ex-cosmonauts who provide them with more info about the moon and reveal that all the people who were murdered were working for the Decepticons. Sam has a fight with Carly. Realizing that humanity has held a secret about their race for a long time, the Autobots travel to the moon and find a few of the Pillars and Sentinel Prime, the former leader of the Autobots and the Optimus Prime's mentor. They bring the Pillars and Sentinel back to Earth, resurrecting him with the Matrix of Leadership, which Optimus now carries in his chest. Something on the images, believed by the humans to be markings made by vehicles, are in fact all the Pillars. In over 50 years the Decepticons have planned to use the Pillars to bring back Cybertron. On the highway, Bumblebee, Dino, Sideswipe and Sentinel Prime come under attack by the Dreads. Crowbar transforms and pulls Agent Simmons from his car. The Dreads use it as a ramp and transform while flying through the air. They then proceed to attack in stealth force mode. Dino catches Hatchet with his hooks and slings him into the oncoming line of traffic, decapitating him. Further up the road Crankcase and Crowbar knock over loads of cars to try and block the Autobots route. They manage to get through. At the nest base Ironhide is released. And, now off the highway, the Dreads pursue Dino, Sideswipe and Bumblebee. Sideswipe transforms and fires at the Decepticons, and tells Dino he'll handle it with Bumblebee following him. Ironhide drives past the two retreating Autobots at full speed. He slams straight into the two cons, they all transform as they fly into the air. Ironhide lands on his feet, but Crankcase slams into the ground, and Crowbar falls onto a bus stop. Sideswipe catches up, they all draw their guns, coming into a Mexican standoff. The Autobots force the cons to drop their weapons, and Sideswipe and Ironhide do the same. But secretly, Crowbar reveals two spiked long delay grenades and throws one at Ironhide lodging it in his shoulder. Crankcase then throws one at Sideswipe, but he jumps and dodges it, cutting it in half. Using his arm blade as a golf club, he chucks his gun to Ironhide who blasts Crowbar in the face. Sideswipe then attacks Crankcase, he wounds him twice. Ironhide the rips the spear out of his shoulder, plunges it into Crankcase's head, tosses him onto a car and kicks it into a car shop, which then explodes into a ball of flames. The Autobots head back to Nest. Sentinel Prime reveals he is a traitor. He made a secret deal with Megatron to ensure Cybertron's survival. Sentinel then kills Ironhide by blasting him with a cosmic rust gun and forces Bumblebee to retreat. He charges into the NEST base, where he breaks open the nest vault, retrieves the space bridge pillars and flees. Sentinel activates the space bridge over the reflecting pond in front of it. The activated bridge transports an army of Decepticons and Cybertronian spaceships hidden in the moon to Earth. They flood into the city assuming new forms. The Autobots arrive with Colonel Lennox and Nest. 
Optimus tells the others to retreat and then attacks Sentinel, but the Elder Prime easily overpowers him. Though Optimus tries to reason with him about his alliance with the Decepticons, Sentinel rebuffs Optimus and beats him up, but lets him lie. Sam went to the party to get Carly to safety. Dylan then revealed he works for the Decepticons when he told that his taught him that if the war wasn't his, then he must always join the winning side. Sam and Carly try to use the latter's car, but it actually turns out to be Soundwave. He throws out Sam and traps Carly inside in vehicle mode. Dylan, along with his assistant, executive, and all five bodyguards explained that the former joined the winning side because of his father, explaining how he was responsible to help the Decepticons prevent any further missions to the moon. His right-hand woman, best friend and henchman had decided to join them too in order to keep their freedom once the Decepticons begin their genocide and to be free to do whatever they want once humanity is slave. Dylan puts the watchbot on Sam. Sentinel sends a message to the United Nations ordering the Autobots to be exiled. The Autobots are blamed for all of this and are exiled. Optimus states that the conflict is his fault because he told the humans to trust Sentinel. When the Xantium starts to lift off, Starscream destroys it and the Decepticons attack the city of Chicago. They seal off the entire city and prevent any aircraft or UAVs from getting anywhere near the city. NEST tries to infiltrate the city but their drones are continuously shot down. Sam, Epps and his NEST buddies try to enter the city on foot but they are attacked by a Decepticon piloting a small ship. Just as the fighter is about to deliver the final shot Optimus Prime shoots it down and the wreckers kill the pilot, rescuing them from the Decepticon. Leadfoot explains that they in fact never were aboard the shuttle, but rather in the first booster that detached from the shuttle. They fly off to Dylan's penthouse. Sam confronts Dylan with a gun, but is attacked and thrown out of the penthouse by Laserbeak. They both discovered later that Sam was saved by a Decepticon fighter piloted by Bumblebee. Their shock gave time for Carly to liberate herself and run towards the fighter, thus being rescued by Sam. Seeking revenge for what Dylan did to her, Bumblebee destroyed the penthouse by opening fire at it, killing all of his bodyguards and Laserbeak in the process. Upon surviving, Dylan warned Megatron about the Autobot's survival. Meanwhile, the Autobots are fighting with the Decepticons and Sentinel Prime, who have placed the pillars all over the world, releasing them, transporting Cybertron to Earth. It then begins materializing in the atmosphere. Wheelie and Brains sabotage the mothership, sending it crashing down into the Chicago River. On top of a building, Sentinel attacks Megatron, telling him that he wanted his home world back, but Megatron won't rule it. During the battle, Soundwave, K, Barricade and Shockwave are killed, with other protoforms. Sam somehow gets the control pillar, but he is attacked by Dylan. Sam throws Dylan into the pillar, electrocuting him to death. Ratchet shoots the pillar before Bumblebee tackles it, smashing it to pieces, sending their home back through the space bridge, destroying it. Carly finds Megatron and she starts taunting him. Optimus attacks Sentinel, but loses his right arm. As Sentinel is about to kill Optimus, Megatron shoots Sentinel and Sentinel ends up on the verge of death. Megatron offers Optimus a truce. Optimus throws his Energon axe at Megatron, killing him. The injured Sentinel pleads for mercy and justified his actions, but Optimus claims Sentinel didn't betray the Autobots, but himself. Optimus then shoots Sentinel, killing him. The movie ends with the Autobots accepting that they will never return to Cybertron, but that Earth is their new home.